Hi, I am Jonathan Reinhardt. You probably know me from my podcast, Wargaming Recon, or maybe you're a Wargaming Recon listener. So I want to welcome you to this very special unboxing video. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is that a while ago on Facebook, Alyssa Faden of the Torn Armor Kickstarter was talking about these fantastic scenic tufts that she had come across. She said they were wicked cheap and she was using them for her model painting and terrain making and all that sort of stuff. And I thought, well, why are you going to use something else? Why don't you just pick up the ones from Army Painter? Army Painter has a whole line of them. They're fantastic. Just go ahead and do that, and you, and you won't be sorry about it. And she's like, no, 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 you you got to try these. These are really good. And they're called um, Tufts by Lead Bears Tufts. And I thought, okay, well, that's nice, but whatever. And so I just I kind of filed that away for a while. And then more recently, I had need of some Tufts. Um, planned to get them to use with the... Um, 172nd scale Caesar miniatures and hat industry miniatures for Caesar, uh, Hail Caesar that my buddy Adrian and I are going to be doing. I thought, well, let me look into them and see. And I was able to order them online from eBay. And um, when Alyssa had first talked about them, she said, well, you get, you get to order them direct. You got to get them through the Facebook page actually of Lead Bears Tops. And I thought, I don't want to buy them through the Facebook page. That's ridiculous, right? And yet, lo and behold, on the Facebook page, they talked about having them uh, on eBay that you buy now. And it's not an auction or whatever. I said, well, let me look. The price was right. So this is an unboxing video because they arrived, right? So we got, um, here's one box and another box. And finally, we got one more box here, box here. So uh, I actually only had need of a, a couple, but I told my buddy Adrian, and he said, well, go ahead and order me some. And I'm actually just double checking. They cost each $7.28 uh, American. And then it was just a little bit more for postage for it. Uh, all told, all three of them were $21.84 plus under three bucks American postage, which is a great deal. And I should mention that might sound like a lot to the packages, contain 140 individual tufts and one of them is 120 tufts the one that has 120 has six millimeter tufts and the other two are 100 are four millimeter so let's just dig in so i got some scissors right and i got uh, my handy dandy box here and we'll just be hearing some crinkling but we're just going to cut right in so i'm really excited about these because I love all this kind of stuff. I know I don't paint really or do any of that kind of thing, but I love all the kit that you get with it. And actually, as I let anticipation build, in the past, if you want ever wanted to have any of this kind of stuff, right, I have here, and I've shown pictures on Facebook. This is uh, an old Flames of War objective marker. Uh, I painted it. It took me about 12 hours or so. And you can see I have some static grass right here. And then I have some clump foliage and that. This is all Woodland Scenics. So if you'd wanted it, and of course I have right here, you had to get flock, which I keep in here. This is old GW flock. Um, and actually this is, I'm oh, sorry, GW static grass right here. You had to get that and you had to put uh, some PBA glue and water that down. And then you had to put it on. Uh, here's more GW. Oh shoot! Um, <laughs> uh, static grass, and I mean this stuff it gets everywhere, and yeah, it's staticky. But is it really gonna do what you want? That's a good question. Probably not. Sorry, I hit the creaking of my chair. Clump foliage from Woodland Scenics. Another option. There's Woodland Scenics. It's horse hair, actually. And you probably can't see too well in the bag, so let me take it out. Uh, and you cut to your desired length and put on. So that's actually what I'd use. It's not even static grass, but that's what I had used. So that's, you know, another option. Okay, or I have a whole box of this stuff. Here's Woodland Scenics Fine Turf. It's similar to the flock from GW. 
is a whole bag of lichen, lichen, lichen that you put on. His more fine turf. You can put twigs from Woodland Scenics. And then you would use classic um, Woodland Scenic Scenic Cement, right, to hold it all down. A lot of work. And then for the base on stuff, uh, I like to use um, Elmer's Carpenter's uh, Wood Filler. It gives a really cool thing. I've shown it on my Flames of War stuff. But then if you wanted a tough, you'd buy something like this, Army Painter uh, Tufts, right? And it was always a pain in the butt because you had to get this. You can see the price when I got this. This was a while ago, $6.99. So you're thinking, yeah, it's cheaper, but there's there's not as many tufts as there is on the Lead Bears one. And I can actually pull it out so you can see. Here's what you get. And you can tell that I'd use some. So that's the Army Painters one. Now let's dig into the Lead Bears one. So I'm just opening the box. Um, the wrapping rather. And look, it comes in this box. So you can see, let me just tilt down to see a little better. Should get a lot of white on it. So it comes in this box. Oh, it's pretty cool. It says here wild grass large. Uh, to apply the tufts gently but firmly grasp the tuft with a pair of tweezers and pull carefully from the backing paper. Place the tuft in the required position and push down gently on the tuft. The tuft adhesive is very tacky and will conform to most irregular surfaces without the need for additional glue. And then on the back is just the uh, contact information and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So this is made by hand actually. Um, the chap who does it, he does it in the kitchen. Um, so I'm just gonna open this one up and we got this and we got business card uh, and actually says right here on the back lead bears tufts are handmade in australia by lead bear on mrs lead bears kitchen table much to her annoyance and then i'll just slide this out and the paper is sticking a little bit to the box but you know if this is large this would be 120 wild grass tufts six millimeter let me just double check on my other computer and you can see they look good. And then for a size comparison here, this is a 15 millimeter diorama, right? And here's the tufts and you can compare it. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? But the tufts look good. They feel nice. They're good length. They are fuzzy without being too fuzzy. So that's pretty appealing. Let's open up another one. Um, I, of course, with the static grass I pulled it, I, I made a bit of a mess here. <laughs> it's all over everything. So let's have the fun with these unboxing videos. You, you don't know what you're getting into. So we open this other one and let's see what's in here. Uh, this is dark green. So this will be uh, four millimeter. And the backing paper kind of sticks a little to the box. but it came out pretty easily. Here's the dark green. And I'll have photos on our Facebook page. You can get to that by going to wargamingrecon.com slash Facebook. So that's the dark green. And then one more. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, I just I got so much static grass here. If you could see, <laughs> you would lament the gigantic mess I'm making. And I'm sure my wife <laughs> is not appreciating it. Uh, so we just cut open the last one. Okay, and here we go. This very last one. Wild grass small. So this is going to be the four millimeter size. And they're all labeled appropriately. It makes it easy to know just by looking at the box. So you don't even have to take out. Oh, look, this one came out nice and easy. And four millimeter. I actually think I prefer, yeah, I definitely prefer the four millimeter size compared to the six. I'm just going to pull the six up again. So, and it's going to be almost impossible to tell the difference here. This is the six mil. This is the four mil. Four is right here. Six is right here. 
Um, and, you know, looking at it, you can kind of tell the 6 is a little taller. And I'm sorry, the quality is not as good as it should be, considering I have an HD webcam. And here's the 4. And uh, I don't have any need to stick them on anything at the moment. Otherwise, I would. Uh, and I would do that for you guys. But uh, when I do, I will share that. So anyway, that's the unboxing. These are the Lead Bears Tufts. I, I got to say, so far, I'm really excited about them. There's not an official website for Lead Bears Tufts or anything, but you can get them on Facebook. You can order them through uh, eBay, which is what I recommend, because that way you can just pay on eBay and everything. And the prices listed are in Australian. So if you order from somewhere other than Australia, right? Uh, eBay charges you at the time that you purchase based on the conversion rate on uh, how many pesos, how many yen, how many American dollars or British pounds or whatever. How many does it take to get into that? So that's what they do. And um, you can get yourself a really good deal. Like I said, I got all three of these. That's over what? Almost 400 tufts for just over $23 and change. And one of them, I mean, it's not even for me, but you can get three of them and that's enough. I mean, even if you put say two per big and you're probably not going to do that but let's say you're going to do two per model that's say 150 tufts still that's 150 guys worth right you divide the 300 and so in half and you get to that so it, it's great they look cool uh the backing paper it, it reminds me of like that um the parchment paper that my wife uses when she bakes and stuff so it's just kind of cool i love that they're homemade and how i haven't thought is how he's able to get these Lines so they don't connect. I don't know if you could tell when you looked at the army painter ones. You don't know what you're getting, right? You know what color and everything, but they're all kind of glommed together and there's little pieces you can't use and big pieces that are way too big. So you get to try to pull them apart and everything. This you pull off and you put it on, you're done. And the army painter one to really make sure that they stick, you want to put some glue on there. You want to really adhere it to it. You don't have to do that with this. You just, you get it and you, um, you're done. You just put it on the thing. So, sorry, just adjusting things. And, uh, well, that's it. So, anyway, thank you for watching this unboxing video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to remind you that you can always get new and all episodes actually of my podcast, Wargaming Recon, by going to wargamingrecon.com. It comes out twice a month, well, roughly twice a month, every other week. Uh, we have thousands of listeners. I talk about tabletop and historical and New England gaming. So it's something that I'm really passionate about. We do a lot of stuff with conventions and all that kind of thing. So be sure to check that out. And like I said, you can find out more information by going to our Facebook page, which is wargamingrecon.com slash Facebook. There'll be actual photos, which would be a little bit better for you to see than trying to look on the webcam. And I'll have a link to all that in the description for this video. So thank you very much. And until next time, keep on gaming.